Hello and welcome back to Hexaplay's Complex 2002 A Doom Odyssey. This is part 11 and we're on E3M3 Stronghold of Damnation. Okay, so here I am again doing this shit again. Another day, all in a row, once a day, still managed to keep it up. Somehow, I don't know how, okay? Let me explain the last video quickly. It might have felt a little bit rushed and a little bit, um lackluster with stuff to say and do it was just sort of me trying to get through the map as quickly as possible because I was running out of time so what happened was I had to work then I had people over and things to do and shit and I just barely whilst shit was still happening I was trying to get another gameplay in uh, I can't say yesterday because by the time you watch this it'll be like two days before but it was when I tried to do part 10 it was like the most tight schedule I have ever fucking had. I, w I was really taking a risk and even recording it. I swear, it was it was like I should have said no and just left it for the next day. But I, I kept this streak up for so long, managing to keep one video a day for this long. I really want to see how far I can go with it. Hopefully, the whole series, but I don't know. And I just I just went for it, and as a result, it was a bit rushed. And uh, yeah, so apologies for that, but I don't think it was that bad. I was watching back in editing, I, it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be while I was playing it. You know? I felt it was going to be a lot worse, oh my god. So the main problem with that was, the maps are clearly getting a lot harder and I can't do videos like that where I'm just like, come on, come on, let's just go to the end, come on, let's go, rushing shit. Because I end up dying several times. I'm not being careful with thinking about what I'm doing. I'm just trying to run through the map and, so so to speak, power through it. You know? And you can't do that shit here. But I'm back. And I've got some time now. I've finally got a lot more time on my hands. So we can take this shit a little more carefully. Hopefully we won't die stupidly again. Even though that's what you want to see. But, you know, I, for my sake, hopefully... I do a little more careful thinking, and if I've got anything to talk about, like the comments, and I did say in the last video I won't see the comments in that video, but I actually have. I actually, because of complications with just before I recorded, I had a look, just to just see if there's anything to talk about. But I'll get to that in a moment when we get this shit out of the way, because I've got to address the actual map at hand. So all we've got is the combat shotgun, the basic shotgun, and the assault rifle, and that's it. That's all I've got. But we're, we're making do. Ooh, that bitch shot. Lucky. Ooh, watch out for the Magma Fiend. And the bitch shot as well. Get rid of you. God. Get the med kit. That's it, yeah. I haven't got, I haven't got any uh, items because there's no uh, zombies. I might as well grab all that then. Okay, so we kind of did that. It looked harmless at first, but as soon as you start shooting and moving around, all this shit comes out. Watch. Oh my god, Poltergeist. Watch out. Did he die? He died. All this armor that I can't I can't make good use of. Fucking bitch. Okay, yeah, grab the shells, I need them. Another map I really remember. I definitely remember this one quite well. And we got another leg in, which is no surprise. I mean look how many imps there are at first off. No wonder there's one out there somewhere. He's not here though. Probably later on. Come on. Okay, more here. We're gonna need those. I see the capo. Now he sees me, somehow, even though his eye was underneath the bridge. Let's get rid of that one. Ducking two of all around the tree. Alright, let's let's take care of those imps first, because I feel uh, a bit safer if I get rid of those. So yeah, uh, I feel like I can't talk about shit with this fucking music playing in the background. It's just sort of a, that sense of urgency, even if it's not there. I don't really want to talk about shit yet, so I'll save it. There was a few comments I can mention, but... I'll, I'll mention it later. Let's just try and get through this. Let's get right into it. I feel like even though the last video was rushed, there was one good quality about it. It was very straight to the point. There wasn't that much talking and it was a lot more action oriented because I was I was darting around frantically trying to get through the whole time. So every moment was like, come on, come on, let's go, come on, and then I end up dying and it's like a fucking... And because I want, I don't want to die because I've got hardly any time to do the map all over again, there's even more a sense of I really don't want to die and I'm going to be more pissed off if I do because I don't have the time for it. So in some ways it's actually better, you could say, but I definitely don't prefer it when I've got basically no time to do it and I was running a big risk doing it. Like seriously, it was... It was awkward, man. There were people in the house. Oh, there he is! He's right there! Okay, so he's in the yellow door. 
I, I'm not fucking colourblind, by the way. I know I always hump the key doors, but it's just to check. Because you never know with these shits. Because sometimes the switches that are marked the colour, you can hit them to get the key. So you never really know sometimes. I just hump them just to be absolutely doubly sure. I can see what colour it is. Don't get... Don't fucking start thinking incorrect things about me. I was thinking, like, as an idea, you could make, like, a Hexa wiki one day, and you could include all the running gags that I've created, like, the bitch and the shits and all the rest of it, and all the information about me, and if, it, if anyone does that, don't fucking put, I can't see colours. Look, I'm doing it again, but it's just to be sure. I've got some funny ways about me, but I'm not fucking, I can, I can see it, okay? I'm not totally incompetent in, in some ways, just in others, like, playing a fucking game sometimes, and it comes to dying like an idiot. Is that a Rictus? No, it's this bitch. There's a lot of them. No, we got them, we got them. Let's stick to the uh, assault rifle here. What? Oh, I've got assault shotgun, I totally forgot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I was still using the fucking basic one, like an idiot. Talking. As soon as I start talking, I forget shit. Don't forget, when I'm trying to keep a running commentary, my playing skill goes down. That's my excuse for fucking up. No, but it it's true, though, it's true. If I wasn't talking, or as deliberately not talking and getting on with it the whole time, not providing any other entertainment other than just doing it, I would be a lot better at it and I'd be dying a lot less. It's because i got to multitask and keep the entertainment up with the talking. It'd be boring otherwise. It'd be, if nothing to say, it wouldn't be me. So, but as a result of that, the playing skill is decreased. And I know because the times when I play it offline and I test some shit and I play a little bit and I'm not doing commentary or recording, I'm actually killing shit a lot of the time, that I wouldn't normally do. How am I not fucking hitting these guys? Fucking, it's always the void imp, isn't it? Oh, no, no, never mind, it's this guy as well, apparently. Okay, so, yeah. So, also, I was saying, I really remember these maps. Some of these later maps are really, like, you don't even know, like, seriously, it's like, it's like I played them just the other day. It's fucking crazy. It's funny that how Ward is, and it's, it's the same thing after all these years, yet you've changed so much in your life, and you come back to this Ward, and it still looks exactly the same, unlike real life, where everything constantly changes. I can't even pick that up because of all the shit armor I picked up before. I can't unlock Okay, blue key. Door here that goes, I think, to the other place. Yeah, it's in here. I remember this. There we go. We got rid of fucking everybody with that shot. With that shot load of shots. I don't fucking know what to call that. Okay, so they're all in there. It just, just joins up back to where we were going to go anyway. Get a quad. Get that shit. Get used to this mouse wheel. It's still a bit dodgy, but it's not terrible. Right, there we go. Yeah, that's it. Now we're off on one. I don't know. I'm sort of sounding a bit frantic and fast still. Got to calm down. It's the fucking music. That's what's doing it. It's not because I'm running out of time. I've got plenty of time tonight, but the fucking music in the background gives me that whole sense of urgency. So it's like I can't just casually talk about some comment in the last video or just take it slow. I've got to fucking do the shit and be on the ball. That music's like, come on, come on, don't fuck up, you know. All right, so I remember this bit really well as well. And the capo, yeah, the capo's come through the window. I remember that, yeah. And there's a, I think there's a cyber further on. Like the ending screen for episode two said, more cybers await you or some shit like that. Yeah, there will be more, not just the boss. Ooh, fucking dodge it. That's the kind of shit that gets you fucked up. At least I can go and take that green armor now. Let's go back and get that. Yeah, I'm backtracking. What are you gonna do about it? Nothing. You're gonna watch. Get that shit. Okay. Any more stim packs lying around? I don't suppose so. I don't really want to waste one of those. Okay, so that's a uh, teleport for the yellow key, I guess, with shells on top of the little shits to indicate the shit. I don't know. Yeah, I remember this, yeah. The shit opens up, there are shotgunners, yeah, everywhere. Yeah, this is so- oh my god. It's like, it's like I was here just yesterday. I already said that, didn't I? Greed! I died because of greed! I was trying to get a D-Tech rifle and he shot me down for it. That was stupid. Although, alternatively, if I hadn't have done it, I would have been mad anyway that the D-Tech rifle would get crushed. It was a lose-lose situation there. Alright, now that the music isn't fucking getting me tense and shit, let me just quickly, you know, go through some stuff. There were some comments. Wait, hang on. Let me shoot first and see if the legs come out. Let me, let me do that first. Yeah, get the rocket launcher out and all that. Right, let's, let's find out. No, nope, we got more. We got even more than last time. We have a leg imp and a leg fiend. Well, for fuck's sake, then. Don't forget, you got a rocket launcher. So if I need to use that, use it. 
Whoa. Don't get hit. I'm trying to keep the soul sphere. God. <laughs> there was a comment that was like, you're pronouncing it wrong. Or so, you're, you're, you forget, you're forgetting to pronounce it wrong. This is like back in like part three or some shit. But it was like, you're forgetting to pronounce Tholthir wrong. I know, I know. That just made me laugh, because it's like, instead of you're pronouncing it wrong, you forgot to actually pronounce it wrong, you know? Okay. So yeah, I know I'm not really saying it like that anymore. The running joke is sort of fading a little bit. It's just been so long. Blame Neo Doom. It's all their fault. Because they weren't actually spheres. And the, the, the shit. I, I don't know. It's Neo Doom's fault, not mine. Insta reload. Someone was saying, um, how come it's only the assault shotgun that does it? I think this gun does it as well, doesn't it? It does, yeah. Okay, so... So, it, it, the assault shotgun and the DTEC rifle do it. When you grab another one of the gun, it instantly reloads it as well. But I don't know why no other guns do it. It's just those two. And I don't even get it. I thought with the assault shotgun, is there some sort of realistic sense? You can't really put... No, but there's nothing you can... Realistically, if you just pick up another gun, there's no way you could just instantly... Maybe you just... Because he picks up the other gun. Maybe that's the idea. He picks up the other gun and it's got full ammo. But then what if it doesn't? It doesn't always. I don't know. Okay. Here's where we died last time. But I've got the assault... I've got the assault... I've got the... Fucking hexa. I've got the D-Tech rifle this time. Plenty of time. So I don't need it. Don't! Oh my god. It's not always enough to fend him off. But we did it this time. He dropped the backpack as well. I'm going to need that. Grab it first. There we go. Anyone else hanging around? Shotgunners and this shit. There could be a secret in here, you know. Just gotta check. This music is gonna bug me for the rest of the fucking map. I'm hoping I can do two though. I just wanna check all of these because you never know when one of these shits might have some secret shit inside. Oh, I can't. I can't keep looking all day. Okay, let's just go. Oh, hello. That helped. Oh, I should have let him shot one more time. I didn't know there'd be an imp there. How did they survive it? doesn't make any sense. Okay, I don't want to pick that shell box up. I don't want to pick it up. Ooh, I didn't pick it up. Grab that instead. Is it, is, isn't the cyber in here in the floor? Let me let me lay a mine to find out. He is! Oh, the grenades! Okay, watch out. Yeah, lay the mines now, because the cyber is there. We can at least get him with all we've got. Yeah, do, do the brrrr shit as well to take away some more of his health. Instead of just blowing up, just do all the brrrr as well. And now grenades. Look, we can fucking kill him before he even comes out. Look at this shit. Probably might need these mines for a leg, but I hope that by then I'll have the satchels and the shits ready. Am I even hitting him? I don't even... Yeah, I think I am. Okay, yeah, I am. Oh, I heard him go... Ooh. Okay, two more. I'm gonna fucking kill this bitch before he even comes out. Watch. Okay, and one more grenade. Oh, that did not fucking do anything. Okay, well, that's all right. I feel confident in that. It probably took a lot of his health. And we need to do that because... Oh, God, I probably made a huge mistake. Because I think what you're supposed to do in this room is you hit that switch or something. The cyber comes out and you've got to escape through the door. I think you're supposed to take advantage of the fact that he wasn't active yet. The fact that I've made him active now, he's able to just instantly shoot me. I'm going to have to try and kill him. I can't kill him from there. What the f- I'm fucked. If he comes, he I'm gonna die. That's it. That's just it. Unless I've got a gun that can do this. The D-Tech rifle. Am I hitting him? Yes, I am. I can keep doing that. I don't know if this is gonna kill him or not. It's probably just doing splash damage. I can't even tell. Fuck. I can't fucking- I can't tell if I'm hitting him or not. I'm probably wasting this. I really hope this is killing him. I can't tell. This is a big risk, man. It's either this. It's either I hit that switch, he instantly comes out and grenades or rockets me to fucking death. So I might as well take chances of my life with this. Probably wasting it. Hugely wasting it, but it is hurting him. I can hear it damaging him. So we're just going to sit here until this shit does its job. It's probably just hitting just above his head and it's just doing splash damage on him, but I can't be taking any chances, you know? Come on. How much fucking oh oh does it take to fucking die? Listen to that bitch. Come on, die! He took all those grenades and mines, mind you. And now he's taking all this shit. 
There we go. Finally. Now I may have wasted a lot of the ammo, but I did, I did uh, eliminate that risk of him instantly fucking me up as soon as I come out of this shit. So let's find out what we're actually dealing with. Yeah, there we go. See, I knew it. You hit the switch, he rises up, you get fucked up. Because there's no time to run from there to there. I'm telling you. Because there's nothing else in it. It was literally just the cyber. And the worst part of all is I can't get that shit. I can't. It's an invisible wall. I can't even get... I could do without gun and everything and I can't get it. Great. Even better. Okay, well, we've got to go back now. So, yay. That was great. What was even the point in all that? Just to fight a cyber? There was no key? the fuck was the point? Seriously, maybe it opened something. Yeah, it raised this bridge. That's probably what it was. Okay. Oh, I thought I teleported. I didn't know it was a trigger line. Okay, yeah, that's better. It wasn't about the fucking... Oh, it's the key. Okay, go. Something might pop out. I'm, I'm worried now. What's going to pop out? I'm hearing the teleport noises. I think they're in there, you know. Let me go back to where I was just to get rid of those uh, cacos and the other shit. I've got all my... Oh, I've got all my... Because I've got the backpack now. That's why I can top it up. Where, oh, I was about to say where. He's right there. Okay. Right, there we go. I. Th it looks like a teleport. You can't blame me for thinking I was going to teleport away. And I ended up running right into their faces. Okay, we've got the yellow key. So now we've got to go through the yellow door and see what's popping. See what's happening up in there. Okay. Yeah, I've got that already. That's why I've still got 100 of us. I'd have even less. I think that's where the leg it was last time as well. So it's sort of like a... Not really a rematch because I didn't even fucking fight him. But, you know. Yeah. Again, like I said in the last video. Quickly and rushed, albeit yes. But, I did say it. Taking with his shotgun is very effective. That or the DTEC rifle. The most effective things against the leg imp. In fact... Now, you know what? I'm going to save this for the fiend. Because I feel like that's going to be a problem. I want to save as much of this ammo as I can. I've got barely any of it. So I've got to try wasted, well not wasted, but I used a lot of it on that cyber. He's doing that. Oh, he's out here now. He's out here now. What? There's two... Yeah, that threw me... That fucking threw me off for a second. There's fucking two of them. I was like, I know he can teleport, but while he's doing the... Shit, no, he can't. That's impossible. So in that split second, I was completely sh um what's the word flabbergasted yeah and then i realized there's two so great there's no way i could have avoided that i'd have to run out the area okay so let's try again and we're gonna shoot and find out oh fucking phase overlord well we have legs again and guess what we have worse legs again and guess what else what we have a phase overlord as well, right off the bat. And guess what else? What else? What else? What? And what else too? No, never mind. There's too much what else is to what else. There was two leg imps as well. Not just one, but two. That's ridiculous. So yeah, again, as you can see, the, th the third episode is not fucking joking around. The third episode is like, right, that's it. I'm done playing. Now you're going to be fucked. But fucked, okay? You thought that Baron gangbang in that other map was some fucking rape shit. You watch, you watch out for this. There's gonna be legs galore, bullshit monsters and shit going on everywhere. Monsters everywhere for a start anyway, no matter what they are. But they've got to be all the worst ones, so we've really got to get lucky on this one, I think. I could usually take it, but there was some just... You know, when there's like two leg imps in a crowded space, in, in a small space, it's just... You know, come on. No legs! No legs this time. I guess it was just a joke. It was just like a ha-ha, funny joke. Now let's play properly and actually not have that many legs and bullshit monsters around the first fucking area. Maybe. I only hope. Okay, so no legs off the bat. There might be some later on, you never know. But, none off the bat. So none that teleport in and none in a room that I've yet to get to this time. So all that was a laugh and a dud, but now we're playing for real, so... Let's get on with it. So now I can finally talk about them damn comments. They weren't even that important or interesting. I mean, I'm, yeah, they were interesting. I'm not sounding bad now. I mean, they weren't, like, so important that I just had to urgently tell you right now. They were just nice things, but I kind of wanted to talk about them. There was a comment that was talking about the HUD again. So people, I appreciate you guys actually trying to help. Because you, you could all just be like, nah, fuck this guy. Let him have the microscopic HUD in his life. 
People are actually trying to suggest uh, ways, and know some ways to help. So there was a go to HUD scale, but I'm not doing that. And then someone else said um, in the last video, they said uh, there's a mod or an add-on for a, a different HUD. I ran out of shit. Okay, go get the shells. There's an add-on for a different HUD. And he sent me the link. I downloaded it, but I haven't looked at it yet because I didn't have any time to. I just got to record this shit now. So I'll look at it at a later date, but I'm already sort of biased against it because even if it's a good add-on I don't want to keep using all these extra add-ons just to be able to play complex LCA you know y you get me right I could I appreciate you giving me the shit and maybe I can use it in my own time or something but when it comes to doing gameplays and doing the shit properly it's like I play with complex and LCA I don't want to have to keep adding all these little add-ons just to fix minor shit that should already be normal as it is all these extra add-ons, it's supposed to be a gameplay to show off Complex and LCA, not with all these extra little things that people are going to think, oh, you need that to play that as well. You know, it just sort of delegitimizes Complex and LCA's first and foremost importance. That might sound like I'm talking out my ass, but I swear I've got like meaning behind that, I swear. But yeah, I appreciate the mod, I'll check it out. If it is really awesome and I can't help but use it, then I'll give it a shot, but... More likely than not, when it comes to using an extra mod, an extra file, and an add-on just to get around something, it's like I expect it to have a setting for it, you know? That same guy with the with the Michael Rosen picture, which I appreciate also because it's quite rare that both my audiences cross over and some people who know Michael Rosen YouTube have actually watch some of these videos. It's quite rare. There's only two or three people I can really name that I don't know personally that would watch it, maybe, that know it. I don't know. Not even that. I, I can't tell. But this one guy said, um, he said the lift sound, the lift thing is from Doom 1. So I, I'm, I'm not about to trudge through that whole video again to find out what the hell I was talking about a lift, because I can't remember what I was saying about a lift. So I think it's his name's Mad Dog Stuff, appropriately named with the picture. But um, he said something like the, the lift thing is from Doom 1. What lift thing? I don't know. Can you please elaborate? Because I've just forgotten what I was talking about. Seriously. So if you elaborate on that, I appreciate that. So yeah, some comments like that. I got the mod thing for the add-on to try and fix the hard. I'll check that out. Um, there was another weird comment that I got that said, um, Oh, the Hexer has seven barrels. What? <laughs> what? Maybe, maybe he actually meant to press six and he fucked up on the key and pressed seven because it's the one next to it. I can only assume. What, who? How do you come to the conclusion that you've just realized, oh, the Hexa has seven barrels? What made you think that? <laughs> I can only assume he did it by mistake, because how would he think that? I don't know. But yeah, there's, there's a ton of comments, but there's so many nice ones. Don't get me wrong, it's not like I'm deliberately not re talking about or reading out the really nice ones because I don't care. Fuck the fans! Yeah, a lot of people do that fuck the fans when they get popular, don't they? At least fuck half of my fans, you know? And it's it's just such a nasty attitude. Just don't do that, man. All, all the real MVPs, the OGs and the people who, who do the really nice shit, that really, like... They, 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 they're not, I'm not saying they... I'm not saying they get off to my videos, but, you know, I can't answer for them, you know? That's all I'm saying. Um, the, those people who really show the love, I just... It's fucking brilliant. But the reason why I don't usually talk about those comments is I don't really know what to say to them. Just thank you so much. That's all I've got to say. But do know that I see them. I appreciate them very much. And yeah, the only ones I really talk about are the comments that are like asking me a question or talking about some bringing something to my attention. Like, oh, did you know about this? Da -da -da. Or something like that. Something informative. That doesn't mean I'm only reading the good comments. That's not what it means. It's just the ones that um, I can elaborate some sort of talking point on you know other than thank you so much that that means a lot because it does again it does mean a lot how many times i have to repeat myself before i sound like a total idiot just to try and prove the point that i do appreciate the comments i can stop talking about it now but you know you know i'm getting some really nice comments recently I, I, it's, it's so much fun to just I, I, what i do is i upload the next video right i upload it late at night then i leave it I go back to my main channel and I don't touch Hexa until the next day, until the next day, whatever. Um, and then I check the comments. It's usually while I'm uploading the next video, I check the comments of the last video. But sometimes it'll be different. Sometimes I'll check them earlier than that, but it depends. So if you write me a comment in the video expecting me to respond or send me a message and I don't respond and you just saw me upload and you're like, 
What the fuck, man? Why didn't you reply to me? You just uploaded. I know you're there, bitch! It means that, you know, that's what I do. I upload the shit and then I go. I'm gone. I don't look at the comments. Only on the last video when I'm uploading a new one sort of thing. Because I, because you don't want to keep checking, you know? You get me, right? You know, you, when you just upload a new video, you know you're going to get some nice comments. You don't want to keep checking every five, ten minutes because you spoil it. I like to leave it a day, come back, and then find all of the, this plethora of lovely words, you know, to read. It's nice. It really makes my day to read those. And I'm not just talking about straight up licking my ass or sucking my dick. You don't have to do that. It's like, Hexer is the best YouTuber ever. The best Doom player, pro tricks and tips. I said that one in part seven. I said that already. But you know what I mean. I don't, you don't need to write shit like that. I'm not trying to try and subliminally tell my fans to write comments that are sucking up to me. I don't want that, particularly. <laughs> But, I do like the genuine ones. I like it to be genuine and sincere, that's what I mean. So when people really mean it, like, I, I watch your videos often, it gets me through. Like, when people say, I do, this guy who did night shifts and he watched my shits and they help, you know, just shit like that. And I can I can sympathise with that, because I used to do night shifts as well. That, that shit, no joke. 12 hours? <laughs> you already know. The, the, the grind. Okay. So yeah, I can sympathise a lot and I just really appreciate them, so... I'd like to talk about the comments more often. I said this towards the end of my Neo Doom gameplay, but I'd like to bring them up more often. I would love that engagement with fans thing. And I don't want to mention you know what, because I said I'd stop talking about it until I actually start doing them. So I'm not going to say it, but you know what I was about to bring up when I say engagement with fans. That's the chat. That's all I'm saying is chat. I'm not going to mention what it is again until I actually start bloody doing it. And I swear... I'm, not, I'm super busy, so I can't really do it right now, but at some point, I will be getting to that. I keep saying that, I feel bad now, because I keep fucking saying it and I don't do it, but I, I, you know how I do, I'm fucking... I'm doing this right now, okay? I'm busy. I got, I've actually got quite a schedule, I know what kind of wads I want to play uh, next, and what I want to do in the next few months. So I've got a schedule ready. See, this is all the talking I wanted to do at the beginning, but the leg music was fucking me up and distracting me from. Um, of course, I'm talking while I'm backtracking doing shit I've already done. I'd normally cut this out, but I have to keep it in now because it's all the important shit I wanted to tell you about. So I'm fucking up still, but I guess that's... Ooh, that bitch slid in his death. Yeah, I guess that makes up for it, doesn't it? I'm trying to make up for that last video because it, was, it wasn't it was terrible by all means, but it was, it was noticeably rushed, I think. This fuck, I'm trying to dodge it and it ain't doing shit. I'm trying to dodge it, it ain't doing shit. Speaking of it, who saw the movie? Oh my god. Never mind, I was about to talk a bit about that, but no! This guy is coming out. Okay, never mind it. I'll be I'll be fucking Ugh, they all float. Ugh. Never mind Pennywise. This is the bitch I should be afraid of! He can come through! Never mind! I knew it! I didn't know he could open the door! Okay, no, I'm, it's okay. You know why it's okay? Because I expect some deaths. Those first two runs with all those legs and crazy shit everywhere, I know it's going to be one of those maps. I I did say, didn't I? He didn't, there no no legs straight away, but there'd be one later on. I was right, and he fucking killed me too. But yeah, it's okay. I'm not mad. I'm expecting legs everywhere. It's one of these maps. The difficulty is stepping up, so I'm expecting deaths and trouble, but... That doesn't mean we can't do it, because we're going to do this shit. You know how I do. And what I do is it. That's what I do. I do it. We're going to do it today. Did I just see a leg over there? Yes, I Yes, I did. Yes, I did. You did see a leg. How wonderful and fruitful of you to... I smell fear. <laughs> how many things do you smell? How many smells were smelt that day, Mr. Krabs? How the fuck am I... See, I told you, legs everywhere. Why is it this map? Uh, there's, there's 322 monsters, so that's quite a lot. Considering, I mean, for this map. For Alien Vendetta, that's not... There's two of them again! Why are they all together in... Oh my god. Bitch! No. You might want to get this right now. The same predicament as last time. At least I know there's two, though. Because before I didn't know there was two, and they caught me by surprise! Am I fucked? No, I'm not. Oh my god. This is bullshit! I knew there was going to be a lot of bullshit, but not this much. What the fuck? Is there like three of them? I can't take that much shit at once. Maybe if they were on their own. Maybe if there was two leg imps on their own. But there was all this other stuff. Oh, that 
Fucking, oh my god, that caught me by surprise. It didn't make me jump, but it caught me by surprise. Maybe if they were on their own, but there's all these other monsters dancing around them. I'm stuck. I'm fucking, there's too much shit in the way. Okay, we will do it, though. We'll do it. Let's see how many legs are smelling or eeing out this time. Imp again. Yeah, there we go. And I noticed some... <laughs> there's this one guy. Some of my favourite comments. Some of my... Tried to dodge it. Didn't work. Some of my favourite comments... I shouldn't be talking at this point. That's what my problem is. Some of my favourite comments I get from this one guy. I forget his name, but it's... um. He tells me why he likes my videos so much. He doesn't just say, I love your videos. He explains, like, the reasoning and some of the nice things about them that makes him enjoy them. Which is really nice to hear, not just because inflate, stroke my ego, inflate it. But not just because of that, but because it, it tells me what I'm doing right. Like, what, what is good about my shit? What they like? That's why I like a bit of criticism as well. I ain't seen much yet, but if someone tells me, what the fuck is wrong with you, stop dying, you stupid bitch. I'll be like, okay. Duly noted, don't die so much, don't be a bitch, okay, good, good, criticism, I know what to do next time, but no, I'm not going to follow that kind of advice, because everyone else wants me to do that shit, so I'm not going to change, don't worry, I'm just saying, any, when you, it's not, again, it's not just ass licking and dick sucking, when they say I like this about the video, it tells me, ah, that's what they like, so that's the specific things that I do, that makes people enjoy it. It's not just, oh, I made another video so people are happy. No, it's like specific things I say and do, you know? It's my my own unique brand of entertainment that I've formulated for myself. And I like to think that over time, it's evolved just a little bit. It's my own thing now. Because when I first started, I copied Dashi a lot, you know? I, I can't lie. I'll be, I'll be honest, I'll keep it real with you. I, I did a lot of shit, copied a lot of the phrases and shit. I got heavily inspired. I didn't want to copy at all, but it was... There was a lot of heavy influence, and I think since then I've sort of branched out a little bit. I found my niche with the Doom stuff, which he doesn't do, so it's my own thing, and I found my own my own catchphrases, sayings, and mannerisms, and yeah, it's just nice to find your own unique style. He's behind there again. Okay, at least he's stuck in there then, so I can take him when I want to take him, rather than him coming up to me and fucking me up. Alright, so yeah, my own style of humour, I like it. My own, well not just humour, but like... Just entertainment, just the things that I do in the video, routine stuff that you come to expect from a Hexa video, you know, I like I like having that trait, you know, like, oh yeah, we know him for this, you know, we know him for dying and raging like a retarded little autist man-child, but that's just, that's just the way it goes, you know, that's the way the biscuit disintegrates, you know, can't do shit, at least he can't do floor shits like the, um, uh, Pyro Demon and the Hell Duke. Oh god, I haven't said that in a while, have I? Pyro Demon. Just saying the names, it's like you almost kind of miss them. It's been a while. Again, it comes to my surprise just how little, just how much less monsters there are in Ultimate Doom than there is in Doom 2. Because again, I knew there were a few more, but holy shit, there's like half, literally half the amount. Because I almost forgot Pain Elementals as well, so we don't have those. The closest thing we get is a Kako Mental, which isn't really a... It's just a Kako type, so it's not... It's just a play on that. So that's the closest you get to one, and that's... It's just... Hardly... And you know what the thing is? Complex and LCA keeps it varied enough, though. It's not getting too repetitive. With, with Vanilla, it does get boring quite quickly. It's like the same enemies over and over again. The same Imp, the same Shotgunner. The same Baron, all the, the same Kako. And that's, I've just listed most of the enemies right there and then, just by saying those four. It's like, oh, you know, I keep killing the same shit. What's behind this door? What's in this room? Oh, sweet, it's this guy yet again. But at least with Complex and LCA, you, it still has that variety in each monster type. So that even without Doom 2, it's not too bad. It, it is a much less than it than it can be, obviously, but it's not terribly boring. I'm not feeling like that anyway. It's still got that variety keeping up there. Okay, so some people in the comments, again, some, I think Soul Spit Soul, Soul Fear, yeah, in the comments was saying, um, how come Hexa never uses leg weapons? I do use leg weapons, but the only thing is I haven't used them in a long time. It just so happens to the... I've never used, I haven't used them in ages, mostly because I haven't gotten very many, and the few that I have managed to get, it's usually by the end of the map, so I don't need them, or I do that stupid thing where I forget about it and die like an idiot, or, or I just die like an idiot straight afterwards or shortly afterwards before I felt the need to use it, so it's either I don't need it or I forget it, 
or I just haven't had them. So yeah, I haven't used them in a while, but that doesn't mean I don't want to use them. I love the leg guns. Yeah, bring them on. I just haven't, just so happened, so I haven't used them in a while, that's all. So yeah, Soul Sphere, he, uh, I think he makes videos as well, so check him out. Look, I, got, I gave him a free shout out now. Look, I, I did I did more than I should have. See, I am your god. Okay. That stun starts is so good. Okay, there we go, see, there you go. I definitely use leg weapons now. You can't say I didn't. I still can't fucking get that. Why can't they let me have it? Why are they got to block it up with the dead guys on the stick? Why do they got to do that shit? Dead guys on a dick, more like. This is actually the furthest I made it. Would you fucking believe it? Hopefully no double leg imp this time. Please don't diminish my leg armor like an idiot. Keep the door open just in case. I knew it. There he is. Risen up like fucking... Like he came straight from hell, for real. Hey, remember what I told myself? I, re I remember what I told you. What kind of shit is that? It doesn't make any sense. But anyway, I've got to remember what I said before. Quad's no good with the leg imp. As much as I want to use it, it's no good. Oh, we have a freeze rifle, though. Use that. I think, I think you can... Yeah, you can use the main fire. The alt fire doesn't work. Same with the leg zombies uh, healing and shit. The leg imp just teleports every damn time. Like with the blast, the hex doesn't look. See, he just teleports every fucking time. But you can get in with the main fire, and that works. Watch out. I think it's just easier. I think it's just safer if I blast him, because tell if he teleports right up to me, I'll blast him, and he teleports away from me. So I think I I'm better off. It's less dangerous. Look, see, look. He scratched the fucking shite out of moi. Okay. I'm trying to change it up a bit there. Oh, I killed him. That was quick. Not before scratching half of my fucking shit away, though. Not half of it. I know. I'm exaggerating. But look, he scratched a lot of it. That was one tough scratch. He, he ain't clipped his nails in his whole life, I can tell. Look how much health one scratch got me. Okay, I'm milking it now. Okay, does any of these... or maybe a secret? I no. can't okay. unlock Who, who cares about the secrets yet? I think... Uh, oh, I've got to check my notes. I think uh, the sixth map, uh, E3M6, I think has the secret exit, so we don't have to worry about that yet. Oh, okay. I can hear all the... Oh shit, that's supposed to be footsteps and the imp sounds all put together, but it just sounds like I'm gagging or something. But um, yeah, so I'm not taking any chances. Throw the grenades. Bounce them down. Nothing. Okay, maybe they're just in the wall to teleport in now. Yeah, they are. Okay, so they're gonna come in. Let me just scope the area out before I take that shit that's clearly, definitely not a trap. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna need to do that. Does it go back up? It does, doesn't it? And look at this! Yet again, there's no suit, as far as I can see. No. And I have to trudge through this shit and lose some of my shit. Shit. Notice how in the earlier maps, they did actually have the kind generosity and uh, kind cut no, courtesy, that's the word I was looking for, to give me the fucking suit. But they stepped the shit up. I guess it's part of the third episode getting harder. I suppose they do on purpose. It's like it's more difficult. You have to get hurt. But it's I never find it fair that you go through damaging floors and you're forced to go through them without finding an alternative route. Because here, you have to do it. Look, I can't go back up. All right, let's just fucking get this over with. Go. They're teleport. Get stuck on the wall. Do it. Go on. I dare you. Good. I only got hurt due to that damaging floor, though. So that was okay. All right. So how much shit is actually there? I think they're shout here as well, no? They're all in there. Some here in the fucking wall. What is that? What actually came out? Because they still sound like they're in that in the wall spawn zone. What actually did come out? A few imps, okay. Okay, okay, we've got Pinky. Let's chuck some shit down here, yeah? Yeah? How, what else have we got? Anything? I should not have done that, but I was scratching my nose with my left hand, so it was just easier to shoot with my right hand. That was that sounds so fucking lazy. I apologize. I don't just apologize. I apologize. No? What what even am I saying? Okay, so there's a lot of shit down there, so I'm glad I didn't jump down after killing the first two. Look, toxic fiend. Would have been really fucked then. There we go. Fucking them up. Fucking them up. Fucking die, that toxic thing took ages to die. Look, I'm fucking shooting vertically and their sprites are almost flat. All this shit, you can barely even make them out. I'm still killing them though. They might be completely, almost completely 2D disappeared, but I'm still killing them. Anyone else? Lay one just in case. Alright. Uh, 
Yeah, see, an air means a strong zombie, bitch. It means a quadra hexa, so I'm glad I fucking did that one more, just in case. I'm about to jump down there. I bet I was a hexa as well, and if I'd have jumped down there, he would have fucked me right up. He would have fucked me, not quite up to this point, up back up here, but up. Still up. Okay, I'm going to take my chance now. Nice. Can't see shit. Okay, I killed them all. I killed them all. <laughs> oh, wow, the fucking poltergeist. <laughs> Okay, just separate from all the rest, on his own, all lonely and shit. So where was the... Oh, got gibbed and shit? If it was... Oh, no, it was a quad. Look, you can see his body. Okay, well, we did that. Okay, red door. Imps. Yeah, I remember this. I basically remember this whole fucking map, really, pretty much all of it, to be honest, really well. I mean, the more maps I've recognised, i got to be better at them, even though I'm dying a lot of times, but you can't blame me for all the stupid legs and shit coming out. I think that hurts, and this doesn't, or something stupid like that, I can't remember, but we'll find out if the leg armour starts uh, deteriorating. Just keep your eye on it, because it doesn't make any sound effects on me, so I can't tell until the uh, number changes. I killed him behind, somehow I got him behind the column there. Watch out, they might be coming through this side. Yeah, I'm gonna bitch. Be sneaky as shit on my ass. Anyone else? No. Imp! Imp! I'm shouting it out like an idiot. Alright, does this hurt? What was that? What was that? What was that? Where? Where is he? Oh, I didn't even see him. What the fuck? Okay, does any of this shit hurt at all? No, okay. I thought it did hurt. I'm remembering that part wrong, but I remember all the layout on the map. Okay, we've got D-Tech rifles. Excellent. Got some satchels. Might as well use a couple. There we go. Got that uh, leg ammo sphere, but I don't really need that. Never really use them. I know. I'm... Maybe that's my downfall, is never... Uh, really using some of those items that maybe might save my life, but I doubt it. Okay, oh, that was it. I was about to say, what was the point? He took some of my shit away. He only took about seven of it or something, but he still took some. And that's still enough to piss me off. <laughs> Even though it's just seven health, or armor in this case. It's still annoying that he did that. So what was it? Oh, it was his blue key. I was about to say, what's the point? Okay, um... Got the blue key, we go through. Okay, quite simple. Teleport back to the beginning. Still simple. And now those guys from inside the wall are coming out. Okay, good to know. I'm going the wrong fucking way. It's the wrong place to be. Let's go this side instead, it's better. We still haven't used this rocket launcher yet. Not once have we used it. Let me try not to use the whole fucking map. Look, watch me, I don't even need it. Look, Quad's doing all the shit for me though. Can, can you blame me? Ooh, someone used the rocket, though. I saw him at the back. That rocket zombie. Gibbed an imp or something. I saw it. Okay. That fucking bitch hit me. I got hit. There we go. Getting hit is a rarity, so I guess that's a good thing, because I'm used to dying and shit all the time. At least, at least getting hit is so rare that I mention it like such a big deal, you know? Okay, 440. I lost even more just then. Oh, come on, late teleporters. You got you got late bloomers, we got late teleporters. There we go. Okay, let's get back over here because it's still coming through. I meant to use the assault rifle and I briefly forgot that was there. Fucking get out with your stupid bitch shit. Stupid bitch shit. Yeah. Oh, he was about to shoot. He lit up. I didn't even notice until I shot him. Oh, he's one or the other. I had to take one hit. No, not two, though. I don't want two. How did that fucking not get him? Fucking rail guys. Anyone else want to come through late? Come on. What time? What sort of time do you call this rail gunner and shotgun commando? Fucking late as shit. Okay, so... Yeah, one more. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he's rail gunner. He heard me. He was late. And another one. Any more? No? I bet there will be. I'm fucking staying. I'm watching out. I'll keep my eye on it. We'll keep my... I'll remember it. I'm not going to lose track of it. See? They're still coming through. Yeah, I think it's because I'm going over there. So it's like, when, when the spawn room has like a trigger line to teleport in, they're walking towards the trigger line. Whereas over there, I guess they weren't walk, walking towards it. I don't know. Anyway, where do I go from here anyway? This isn't the point. The point is, where do I go? I got the blue key. I went through that shit. What is there left to do? What am I missing? Because that, that shit should open, right? Maybe it's when I kill everything. I don't know. Okay. Oh. Well, I'm not going to kill everything in the whole map. Because once I know once you go in there, some bullshit, you shoot shit, just check in. Some bullshit comes out. But, um... 
I don't know about this yet. There's what the fuck is what am I missing? What the fuck am I missing, man? Come on. I did all that. But, oh! Oh, there was that, that switch there. How was I supposed to know that? How was I gonna remember this random blue key switch in the middle of fucking nowhere related to the keys at all? To come back here to do that? How the fuck am I gonna remember that? Fuck's sake. Okay, well. Here we go. Let's find out if it did do... Yeah, it opened the shit, yeah. Okay, what, what, what's that? I heard a detect rifle. There it is. Like a steel teleporting in lane. Look at this. Okay, here we go. Unless there's any more guys want to fucking teleport in behind me, but I think by that point it's too late. Because I think the bars close you in. So this is the area. We've still got quite a lot of monsters. About over 50 or so. Yeah, about 60 odd. So... That's enough. Yeah, that's exactly what I thought was going to happen. So if any guys want to come out back there, your time is up. It's too fucking late. I'm about to come in here and possibly die. Okay, so what have I got to do? Um, oh god, i got to fucking go because they're all coming out already. Get this bitch now. He's a problem. He was a hero before, but I don't want him to be a hero against me. Okay. Oh my god, I need a BFG. That would be... Not BFG Kako, please. That would be best. Oh my god. Um... I might want to use the detect rifle. Actually, oh my god, no. Because I can get these guys in one and two shots. I think this is the best gun to use still. Just keep moving to keep them circling around in the middle. Yeah, get hit once. That's okay. That's what the leg arm is for. Fucking, oh my god. Not that much, though. How many fucking cacos? You have to hit these switches. I was going to say, you have to hit all four of them. I think I can just leave if I do this. Yeah. I'm going to try and kill them all, though. No, never mind! I don't want to die! Go to the exit now! I'm stuck. I'm fucked. I'm fucked. It's over. Right the fucking exit. Go! No! Oh my god! Oh! Fuck's sake. Okay, well, we're gonna try. No, it's okay. I'm not mad. I'm not raging. Because I feel okay about this. I, it, it's a sort. It's not because I'm fucking sadistic or masochistic or any istic. I'm, there's one. There's one that ends in tistic that I might be, but... <laughs> Not not any of the other ones, I don't think. Um, it's just because I, I, I feel all right. Now I feel all right. I've got t I've still got lots of time. I've got time to take on the map. Yeah, I can take you on now. There's only one of you this time. Okay, go to those shotgunners. Go, go, go. Oh no! There's an assault shotgun in there. Get it. That was such an awesome sound collision. I didn't even mimic it yet. I can't do it. But yeah, that was cool. Okay, we're safe for a moment. For a moment. For the moment. Whatever moment. I'm living in the moment. <laughs> Get cr Yeah. I noticed, um, while I'm editing the videos, I noticed there have been a lot of crushes that I've completely ignored or don't give a shit about. Is that also because of Neo Doom? Fucking ruining all my recurring jokes and trends and, and uh, traits. Ruining me. Fucking Neo Doom's ruining my, my shtick, man. But no, no, there's a lot of times where someone got crushed and it was clearly audible and I never, I was either talking or not even caring about it. I never addressed it anyway. I just sort of ignored it. That's not me. Come on. Oh my God. Can I go through the wind? No, I can't go through. Even though that's tall. I'm fucked. No. I'm not going to question how I fucking made that, but I did that shit. Oh my god, I cannot believe that. Now the cacos again. Oh, I really wish I had a fucking minigun. But no, no. No, 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 no. No minigun, so... No chain gunners, no minigun, no shit. Fuck. No hitting me, even though he did. Fuck my life. Yeah, having no minigun is a serious problem. No explosive minigun, of course, but... No minigun, man. That's a real drag. I can't believe it took me this fucking long to even notice that. That's how well Complex and LCA is holding up this balance. Because I barely... Oh, there's so much to keep me occupied as it is. I barely even fucking noticed. And I've only just realised now... Oh, shit. I can't get a minigun at all. Now we have to do this shit. I just realised. Because you have to hit that switch. It's for something. We have to do this shit again. But we don't have leg armour to save us. I made it through without getting hit. But I'm not going to get so lucky. What should be a dark cyber or some bullshit? I don't have to say anything else, do I? I, do, I really don't have to say anything else. You heard what I said before that happened. Everything went according to plan. The bitch is gonna kill- I swear if that bitch- There's too much bullshit! 
If you'd have stayed behind a tree like a not idiot, you wouldn't have died. Yeah, I knew it was hopeless. I knew it was only a matter of fucking time before that bitch come out. So yeah, when it comes to Leg Redeemer, it's that ending spot. Because there's so many Kakos, I thought it was just going to be all kinds of monsters that come in. But it's just Kaka Demons, so we have to watch out for Leg Redeemers. Because more time, more likely than not, he's going to be at the end. And that's the worst fucking time. Because the last thing I want is to get back there and be, and be told no again by that bitch of all things. It's not going to fucking hit him. Hit him, please! He's not hitting him at all! It's bullshit! Stuck between a rock and a bitch place! Yes! I was trying to make it so I could get him round, so I could run out and then take him from the outside. But I was stuck between the rock and the place of a bitch. Oh, damn, this map is going to test me. Okay, no, I'm, I'm still not crazy mad, but that death... Where it was right at the end. Oh, and at Leg Redeemer. Yeah, that's kind of annoying. I'm getting mildly peeved now, I think is the right word. And it's going to get a bit worse after this. Okay, there's a cardinal in there, but I've got an idea. Um, it's not all a loss. I won't have to run, hit this switch if what I think it happens will happen. If I throw some mines on him again, like the first time, he might fly upwards. I think he can fly all the way up. There's nothing restricting him, it's just a lowered floor. So if we throw some in. Yeah, there's nothing stopping him from flying upwards, yeah. Oh, it's a cardilator. Of course it's a cardilator. It's double the fucking bullshit. Should not have used that. Okay. Yeah, I, I had one. Spare for him. Okay, well, we don't have the Devastator. We don't have the D-Tech BFG. We don't even have a D-Tech rifle. We've got rockets, though. Yeah, that's going to help. And you know what the best part about this bitch is? You know what the very best part about it is? He's the utmost bullshit. He's going to take all my fucking ammo to kill. When he dies, I can't get any of his drops because it's in that shit that I can't reach with the stupid dead dudes on the poles. And I have to kill him regardless because I have to get to that switch. So it's literally everything terrible all rolled into one. And I'm going to die to the leg redeemer anyway. This is so terrible. It's just everything I fucking hate all put together. Look, I can't, I can't even shoot more than... Well, that managed to um, somehow go through the wall and fucking hit me. He must have been, he must have been like an inaccurate shot. He doesn't shoot directly on you. He sort of shoots all around your location. Sort of shoots a bit left and right. So one of the rockets must have hit the side of the door at the front, at the floor, and hit me. Fuck it, I don't fucking know anymore. Yeah. He oh, he did it. He did it. I was gonna say. Um, in one of those really cool comments that people have been writing, the guy that's, that says a lot of things he really likes about my videos, he mentioned when I when I hit the leg imp and he goes, eee! And the reason why, I noticed I haven't done that in a very long time, now that you bring it up, but it's only because, oh bitch, it's only because I haven't actually heard him do it in so long. It's been a long time since the eat. I've got two of them! Okay, power sphere, I'll take that. I won't take that, I'll take, yeah, I'll take that. <laughs> but I won't take that, I'll take that. Don't take the, the other sphere, just take the health. Orb. Oh my god, I'm edging towards the wall. There we go. Okay, so we've got two leg spheres. There's no way he's gonna kill us now. The buddy Laser Inc. made a good point in a comment as well. He said something like, um, the, the leg cyber noble hasn't made an appearance yet. And it's making me worried. Like, is it related to the Hell Knight in a way that it won't do it? Because it's still like a Hell Knight type. But it's in a Baron placer, so wherever Baron spawns, a Leg Cyber Noble can spawn. But I'm thinking, how come we haven't had one yet? You'd think by now we would have at least one. We haven't seen a single one. Maybe they're just really rare. I have no idea. Yeah, at least I got it once. At least I managed to get it in this video. Even if I die, I'll die knowing I got my favourite gun. And as for that guy that said um, the Hexa has seven barrels, I'm thinking maybe he said that because of this. Watch the reload animation. Look, there's a hole in the middle, but that's not a barrel. That's just the center of the gun. I think the quad does it as well, look. No, it doesn't. They're there's kind of a little hole in the middle, but they're like tied together. But there's not. it's not seven barrels. It's just the six barrel cluster has like a hole in the middle. He doesn't actually put the bullet. It's like a secret seventh barrel. If you put a shell in it, it's an explosive round. Oh my god, that's actually a really cool idea. Legendary, get on it. It might be a cool little neat... Oh, no, you can't really do an alt fire though, because your alt fire is the uh, partial blast. So I don't know how you would do it, but... 
Yeah, the, the centre bit is actually a secret seventh barrel, so it's actually a scepter shotgun would be the correct term for seven barrels. Oh my god, look how far I pushed him! I kind of wanted to go right up into his face while he was aiming at me because it would make the perfect thumbnail. I still haven't quite done that yet because it's such a risky, deadly thing to do. But if I could one day do that, go right up into the Hexer's face before blasting, blasting him as he's about to blast me, so it's like face on, aiming at me, I'd love to get a screenshot or something like that. I mean, I can make it, obviously, by by um, cheating and using freeze command and all that shit, but I mean, like, in an actual gameplay, like, mid-play. If I could do that and pull it off live, not live, fuck's sake, you know what I mean, if I could pull it off in real time without freezing the game or doing anything else. Okay, it all comes down to this. This fucking room, locked in. Oh yeah, they start coming out immediately. Fucking go, do it now before they even get a chance to come out. Yeah, get hurt, that's fine. Hurry up, I'm full of leg. Oh my god, I could just go through. That's it, I've got it. It was that easy. Ah, leg redeemer, huh? Oh yeah, you're gonna do some bullshit now. Nah, bye, bitch. Bye, bitch. I says I'm back into the exit, away from him. With my hexer in hand, safe as houses. And I finally passed this fucking map. Jesus fucking Christ on a crucifix. Oh my god. Oh, I don't know what to say, guys. That was, well, I, I, actually I do. That was a tough map. Very tough map. It wasn't that long. And it wasn't really that bad. When we're still going to compare it to Alien Vendetta and the likes of Hell Revealed and shit that I'm going to play one day. But that shit, for the standards of this wad, it the difficulty... They are really stepping the shit up and it's no joke, so yeah, those deaths weren't necessarily welcome, but they were not getting me really mad, because I was expecting it, I was expecting because there was so much shit going on, it's like, okay, I understand if there's a lot of stuff going on and it's going to kill me, okay, fine, I'll do it again, hopefully this time it'll be better, so I'm not mad. I am usually get really mad if it's on a, a map that looks easy and looks okay and I'm dying to something that I really shouldn't be dying. That's what makes me mad. But if it's a justifiable death and it's like, okay, yeah, this shit is ridiculous. I mean, obviously I'm going to die. It's okay. I'm less likely to get mad. So that's that's what you don't want to see because you want to see me get mad, of course. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you enjoyed me trying to address some comments while dealing with all that shit at once. We made it through one map. I wanted to do two. But beggars can't be choosers, man. Long ass video, long ass map to do because of all the deaths. But we uh, still made it through this one at least. So, I will see you in part 12. I'm remembering the numbers really well. I don't want to say that because I like jinx it and shit. But I am kind of getting the hang of the numbers. I'll see you in part 12 where we'll be taking on Halls of Ebola. <laughs> okay.